Hey guys, what's going on? It's Would You Rather time. I know we didn't have it last week, but we were actually at PAX, and so we uploaded the K-pop and White Boy vs. Mr. I Try Hard, where we were playing some pool, and we lost, right? Did you win? Uh, we only... You guys only oh, lost because you yeah. pocketed the eight ball like a noob. Oh, yeah, I fucked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last week, you guys... Well, last Would You Rather, you guys were really into the group hug thing. Like, here at Would You Rather, we're just... A nice, happy family, so more group hugs. Leave it in the comment section below. Group hugs! Yeah, oh, so cute. Group Aww. hug the like button, because you guys never like my videos. What the heck, man? I see people with less views get more likes than me, because I never ask. So like this I'm shit asking. out of this video. Do it. Right now. Yeah, God damn it, guys, I'm asking. Just <laughs> do it. Shit. Show Kelly some love. Yeah, please. I use your questions, because I'm nice. Of course. <laughs> All right, so let's get right to your guys' questions. Would you rather run a daycare full of toddlers that turn evil and talk shit to you whenever their parents aren't around? All right. Or run a nursing home full of old people who think that they are in the Hunger Games and try to defeat all of the other nursing home residents? Oh, dear. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? I love that. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't see a downside to this. I mean, they've lived their life. It's not like the toddlers are, like, killing each other. Like, these are older folks who've lived their lives. Yes. Can we clarify that, that this is all hypothetical? Like, we would never do this in real life, but if this was, you know. I'd do it in real life. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's like, yeah, fuck that shit. No, but, like, yeah, definitely. I, I just, like, being the mastermind behind something... Like, where it controls people. Like, yeah, okay, it sounds terrible and evil, and I totally understand that, but it just... Maybe I'm a power-hungry, like, bitch or something, but I, I, I would just love to do that. Like, because we all know, like, the Hunger Games is controlled by the people behind it. You know, the people acting it are just really peons and like, the whole situation. And that's what I really enjoy. Like, you know, manipulating stuff and, you know, getting people to do stuff that they wouldn't normally do in real life and... I don't know, man. It would be really, really fun. And just the fact that it's old people now would just make it... I don't know. It's a whole lot more entertaining and funny to me. Like, they would just try to beat each other, but they couldn't really be able to. Because, like, one would, like, you know, break a hip or something. And, like, oh, no. Like, fall, like, halfway through mid-stride of beating somebody over the head with the baseball bat. You know what? I, if I broke my hip and I was an old, like, lady, whatever, and mm -hmm. I'm in this situation, I'm going to fucking roll into the other people. Like, I'm rolling. <laughs> and then I'm going to break their hips and see how but, they like it and then soon it's just gonna be a bunch of old people rolling on the ground <laughs> and then you lose your dentures it gets all awkward and you somebody throw your dentures just throw those they're like a projectile <laughs> knife or something you can't hold your bladder anymore because you're too old and like you pee on yourself and it's like it gets super awkward it i don't know it'd just be hilarious and we're acting like old people are like just falling apart <laughs> <laughs> no but you know what i would do in this situation i'd have like um their families come in Maybe not their families that might get kind of sad or messy or whatever. <laughs> but I'd have people come in and take bets. Like oh. you could, you could make, you could earn some major money doing wait, this. Wait, speaking of bets, so 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 who would be the strongest old person? Is it like the guy with like the super like decked out wheelchair, or is it the one that's still the most athletic? Oh man, I think it's the one who's still the most athletic. Really? Because if I got a wheelchair, man, I like I don't care how fast you are, I can still catch up to you in that thing. What about someone with a walker? Like, they still have kind of strong arms, but they have a walker. Nah. So, like, they beat you over the face with the walker? Yeah, but they wouldn't have too much agility. Like, they couldn't run out of the way. I mean, once once you get that walker up, I'm hitting you in the legs with, with my wheelchair. There's no way you're getting up from that stuff. And, like, that wheelchair weighs a ton. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking go over you. Yeah, I don't think any women would win. No. I don't, I I mean, unless you got one who did, like, I don't know, like, the Olympics five times when she was young. Maybe she can still, you know, yeah, outrun I me mean, or something. Old ladies, like, they get the weak bones. Girls are really susceptible to weak bones, so. Maybe an ex-baseball player who uses a cane to walk around so he could swing you like a baseball bat, and he could just, like, swing the crap out of people. Oh, yeah, someone with a cane. Why don't we think, like, I thought of the walking thing but a cane is good cane with like a pointy end like you poke people with it it'd be great yeah no what if he like stuck his dentures on there somehow are we evil for talking about this i have no idea <laughs> i'm sure people in the comment section below will have some great ideas for it too definitely let let us know 
like we said, it's all for pretend. It's not like we're gonna go to a nursing home and be like, alright, old bitches, get the fuck off. Time, time of course to fight not. to the death. We're, it's not like we're like that at all. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> alright, let's just get to the next one. Yeah. Would you rather never have any human contact with anyone ever, or as much contact as you want, but you always have to touch genitals and be fully naked? Alright, I got a question. Is no human contact at all? Does that even restrict, like, the internet and, like, online, like, like you know, we're talking right now? You know what? I think we should make, like, that. that's true. I didn't think about it that way. Let's just say you can't touch people, like, no physical okay. contact. I, I feel like I'm gonna get called gay if I go for the second one, because, you know, I work in an all-male environment, basically. So that would make me touch a lot of penises. Oh, yeah, like, as soon as they go to, like, grab your hand to shake it, you'd just be like, oh, no, grab my dick. <laughs> Penis now, bro. I, but see, I guess I could, like, find a way to, like, surround myself by women all the time. But then that, like, that would make family, like, family You'd end parties. up in jail. I, it would be, like, people wouldn't know, right? Oh, this is the guy who has no choice but to touch your genitals. Like, it's just the way it goes. Like, if you meet him, then, you know, shit goes down. You just gotta accept it. You know how some people have bracelets that say, um, like, I don't know, they're diabetic or whatever right. the bracelet of, like, when they have a health, um, problem? Yeah. Or if you had a shirt that said, I touch your genitals if you touch me, like, something like that, like, that oh, warns yeah. oh, people, yeah. look, I'm a creep. Because a shirt makes it legit. I, ha I have a shirt that says, trust me, I'm a doctor. Like, <laughs> like come on. <laughs> you know, they'll be like, oh, look at this fucking perv. He just wants to fucking feel my fucking genitals. <laughs> I just a shirt that says. I'm gonna touch your genitals. <laughs> just walk up with like this super serious look, and it's just like I'm going to touch your genitals. Oh my! This needs to be a shirt. It does need to be a shirt. I don't think anyone would buy it. I, dude, I would fucking buy that. I'd I'm, buy it. I'm We're going like to touch the only you. two people who would. Yes, it'd be it'd be legit. Like you could you, you could legit make like people go crazy. Like you just go anywhere and have this super serious look on your face and be like. Hi, and then just let them read your shirt, dude. They would freak the fuck out. Or, or maybe you could find the ones that are really like interested. Like you know, like I go up to a chick and and she's like, oh hey, what's up, try hard. And she obviously wants me to touch her genitals. Like she would be totally down for it. Oh okay, so you just get right to it. Like no. Yeah, waiting. screw that whole fucking flirting business. Who cares about that? We all want the good stuff, right? <laughs> Some people do, yeah. There we go. But back to the shirt thing about touching genitals. Like, right. going into a church? Whoa. I, uh, yeah, nah. Going any, like, you know, like, family Christmas parties? And, like, you know, you say, you have to say hi to your grandma and grandpa? Like, you, you, you gotta be getting down there, down the nasty. Like, what if you touch somebody who has, like, an STD or something? Like, like oh, she has man. cheese down there and, like, fuck, why am I wearing this shirt? And gonorrhea, there's a strain that isn't curable now. So I would probably so yeah you probably end up with an STD within like a week. Ugh, ugh, gross. We 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 either gotta rethink our our answer or we gotta make sure we gotta find a way of like. No, I'll just wear a fucking shirt that says "Tell me now if you have an STD because I'm going to touch your genitals." Yes. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just not gonna have human contact with people. I think so too. That's such a bad yeah. It's yeah. just the easiest way to go. <laughs> yep, I agree. All right. Would you rather live in a world where everyone takes everything sexually or everyone takes things as an insult? Okay, we basically live online, and I think we already basically live in a world where everything takes any, uh, everyone takes everything sexually. Or as an insult, too. This is just... <laughs> this <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I think it's already that way, only <laughs> both of them. This question is just reality, Kelly. Um, God. Alright, um, I'm going to go with sexually, because, you know, yeah, you, you, like, you'd get these people who would be, like, super offended, and that's fine. Like, at least, like, personally, I offend a lot of people every day, which is perfectly fine with me. So just a few more is just whatever, and then... You know, maybe, again, I'll get a chick who will be like, Oh, this guy said he wanted to eat some toast for breakfast. Maybe he wants me to suck his dick. And then I'll get down to business. 
Yeah, see, I think sexually is the better way to go too. Yeah. Because if everyone takes it sexually, then there's no, there's gonna be no issues. No one's gonna be like, "Wow, creep," because they're gonna oh, take it that way too. That's true. So there can be no problems. Whereas if everyone, wait a second, but if everyone takes everything as an insult, there's gonna be so much Twitter drama. Like, oh. constant Twitter drama. And it would be so the, entertaining. Yeah, the beefs. The beefs on YouTube. Like, every video would be like a beef video. It would. Oh my you subs would love it because you guys know that you guys all love the beef, right? We all love the beef. Whenever you see a beef video, you go on the other guy's channel, you watch what he has to say, and then when they have to respond, then it's like the drama and unsub and sub and all this stuff, and it's like, it's crazy. Yeah, I want that. It's kind I want of entertaining. That. I want the drama. You want the drama? I want the drama. I'll go with the sex. All right. Sex is easier um, for me. <laughs> All right. Would you rather eat and swallow an extremely hot ball of wax, which was last seen dripping out of an 86-year-old oh. porn star's anus? Oh. Male. A male one. I don't know if I said male. Oh, male. yeah. That just made it worse. Okay. Didn't think that or, was possible. <laughs> or T-Mac, a human-sized bear trap, and it would hurt, obviously, but you wouldn't die or be fatally wounded. Well, fatally wounded is die, whatever. I'd lose my testicles. You might not. How would I not? It's a fucking bear trap. <laughs> Have you ever seen a... Okay, I've never seen a legit, true bear trap. I've only seen the one in, like, the comics. And those things are huge. They got the claws. Like, they would just... Ah. I, I think, don't know. I think by not fatally wounded, they meant that you wouldn't lose anything. It would oh. just hurt. Like, it would just hurt a lot, but you wouldn't lose any body parts. Okay, because, like, I'm thinking, like, the ball of wax, like, is, that, that's legit gonna kill you. Like, I don't know how big this ball of wax is. Like, are, are we saying it's, like, the size of, like, a baseball or, like, the size of, like, a small clementine? I don't know. Well, I mean, he's an 86-year-old porn star, you know, and he's male, so I bet he's taken a few things in the ass. Right. Like, there's just chances are that that's the case. True. So, it might be a pretty big <clears throat> butthole. <laughs> so, this so might we be... could have a pretty big wax coming so, out of his butt. Okay, uh, God. <sighs> I guess I'll have to go with the bear trap on this one. Like, I can't risk it with the ball of wax. Like, I, I'm pretty sure, like, there's no way I can digest a ball of wax. I don't think I can, at least personally. Um, and I can just imagine that thing coming out on the other side. Um, that would just rip me to shreds. Like, I'm no 86-year-old porn star. So, yeah, I mean, this is gonna suck. Like, the bear traps, like, I'm gonna bleed. And, you know, all, like, all guys listening to this will know that the worst part of the body to get hit is, you know, right in the fucking testicles and much less by a fucking bear trap. But I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet on this one and go with the bear trap, man. I don't even, like, the fucking wax. I don't wanna, wanna fuck with that. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is also go for the bear trap but i'm gonna <laughs> i want to make this like a tv special you ever see on tv they have like an hour-long special because some guy's gonna like do this crazy motorcycle jump right my special is gonna be me teabagging a human-sized bear trap wait are you a guy or a girl in this thing i'm a girl you're i'll be naked and it'll be pay-per-view i'll be naked oh you'll make millions yeah, exactly. Like, why the fuck would you not do that? This is true. It It'll make be, it worth the pain. I would be more inclined to watch a lady get, you know, bear trapped in the fucking genitals than watch a guy. Like, I'd probably watch both. I'm not gonna lie. This is fucking interesting. But, uh, yeah, you would you would get a whole... This would be great. This would be also great for your channel, Kelly. I'm just saying. It would be great for my <laughs> channel. <laughs> no. so I'm just gonna ask for the bear trap teabag now. <laughs> bear trap tea bag great t-shirt but like as soon as you read that there's gonna be like a lady a naked woman be tea bagging a bear trap on tv like tell me you're not like everyone is gonna watch that even if they think it's horrible they're oh, yeah. watching it oh yeah even like the most prude people on earth who like don't like sex will be like i gotta watch this shit this like this chick crank like there's there's nobody who willingly wants to put their genitals anywhere near a bear trap much less put it on TV for everybody to see. Like, this this would beat the Super Bowl. I'm not even going to lie. It would beat the Super Bowl. <laughs> we could add it into the Super Bowl. 
You could eat, okay, you you would kill Janet Jackson's tit flashing at the Super Bowl. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> It'd be like, bitch, you want to show your tit? I fucking bear trap. I, I fucking teabag a uh, bear trap. God, I said that wrong. It's We could have a new verb, bear trapped. Bear trapped? <laughs> <laughs> Nakedly teabagging a bear trap. Bear trapped. Yes, yes. <laughs> this just needs to happen. And some somebody go fucking teabag something. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Yep. Um, like I said earlier, you guys better be bear trapping the like button. Oh, teabag that like button. <laughs> Do it. All right. Go check out Mr. I Try Hard. Do you have anything you'd like to say? This was great. Can't wait for next week. Let's not skip another week because I got like kind of like deprived. It's like a drug for me. I don't want to miss yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it was very sad for me too. Mm-hmm. All right. Bye, guys. Have a bye. great day. Bye.